What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Friday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Carnium, and for all the bad luck we had last week and all the close bets that just couldn't seem to win, the luck seems to be turning around a little bit, and we're starting to win, starting to put it together a little bit. An official 2 and one day yesterday, we had the Cleveland Guardians on the run line at plus 104. They won that game 6-1. to one. Jordan Lyles, man, how's that guy Get, keep getting the ball for Kansas City. We had the Oakland A's and Detroit Tigers to go over 8.5. Detroit won that game 9 nothing, so they covered all on their own. Thankfully, they did because Oakland scored 0. Um, and then we did have the Rough Riders minus 7.5. They only won that game by 1 against Edmonton, so we fall there. If you are in the Discord, we also added the Miami Marlins on the money line in the first 5. That was a push. It was a 0-0 tie. Miami actually ended up losing that game. And then we had in the WNBA, the Seattle Storm and the Connecticut Sun under 166 and a half. Game landed on 166. And we cashed that bet. So a good day, a two-unit day overall, a one-unit day here officially. And I mentioned it yesterday, a lot of different socials. So we've got the threads going on. We've got the Discord. The Discord is where you want to be because I post my picks that I do for the video the night before. And if you got on that, I had the Minnesota Lynx today at minus 120. It looks like it's at minus 160 now. So I hope you, Lee, you jumped on it. But get in the Discord. The link is in the description below. That's where all the stuff's going to be posted first. All my picks throughout the day. That's sort of as I don't really know what's going on with Twitter and with social media. Discord is going to take the focus there for where I'm going to focus all of the picks. Um, and also, you'll see the QR code on the screen if you're watching. There's a link in the description if you're listening or watching on your mobile device that will take you to all the books that I use. Make a minimum deposit. You're going to get exclusive bonuses and offers only available through that link thanks to my partnership with Betstamp and with those books. The Discord is going to start having all this stuff. And as it keeps rolling, we're sort of a, you know, a work in progress. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Link for the description. A uh, link in the description for the Discord as well. Okay, let's get to it today. We're going to start in baseball. We're going to start with the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. You've got Sandy Alcantara going up against Zach Wheeler. And at bet 99, you've got a number of seven. Over seven. Minus 112 at bet 99. Sandy Alcantara, all-star last year. Last year, Alcantara was 14-9 with an ERA of 2.28. This year, he's 3-7 with an ERA of 4.93. In his last several starts, he's given up four. He's given up one. He's given up five, five, one, five, four, two, four, and six. Notice a trend. He's giving up an average of four runs per start in only six innings of work. This game is just a total of seven. You look at Zach Wheeler. He's been good, sure. He's got uh, an ERA of 4.03. I mean, it's not great. Last year, he had an ERA of 2.82. Both pitchers good last year, not so great this year. In his last two starts, he's given up four in a 19-4 to win against Washington, and he gave up five. He's also given up seven against Washington again. So these teams are scoring runs as well, not just that. Um, you know, you look at the recent games for Philly, there's been 12, there's been nine, there's been 13. Um, so I'm looking for this game. I don't know how the number is as low as seven. You also have, pu also have push potential if it's a 4-3 final, something like that. But I'm taking the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins over seven for minus 112 at bet 99. Moving to the CFL now, we've got the Calgary Stampeders at the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And... I don't know how this total is seven and a half. The Blue Bombers are arguably, you know, the one two team with the Toronto Argonauts in the CFL this year. Calgary is one and two. Winnipeg is three and one. This game, game is being played in Winnipeg. Now you can say, well, the Bombers have lost at home and Calgary hasn't lost on the road. But ATS this season, Calgary is one and two. Winnipeg is three and one. Like I said, total set at seven and a half. The Stampeders are coming off a three-point loss to Saskatchewan. They won a, uh, an 11-point win against Ottawa, but it's Ottawa. They've also lost by 10 to BC in their three games. They've also they've had a bye. Obviously, he's only played three games. Winnipeg has not had a bye yet. They've won by 14 points. They got routed by BC 30-6. to That was a bit of an anomaly. They beat Saskatchewan by 18, and they beat Hamilton by 11. So... The Winnipeg Blue Bombers, I think they're back on track. They score a ton of points. They've scored 17. They've scored 45. They scored 42. Uh, Calgary hasn't scored more than 26 points on this season. I think Winnipeg is just a better team. It's a, a Friday night football, you know, big deal in the CFL, Friday night football in Winnipeg. Give me the Blue Bombers, minus 7.5 for minus 110 at FanDuel. And the last bit of the day, as I mentioned, this was at minus 120. It's up to you how far you want to go with this odds in the money line for Minnesota it's definitely shifted but the Minnesota Lynx come into this game eight and nine um, on the season and Phoenix is three and 13 Phoenix is brutal 
Okay. Phoenix has lost eight of their last 10 basketball games. They're coming off a 99-95 loss to New York. They actually did keep that game close. Previous to that, a 10-point loss to Minnesota, who they're playing tonight. These two teams have played twice this season. Minnesota has won 86-76. Phoenix actually beat them 90-81, to but that was all the way back on May 25th, so a month and a half ago. You look at Minnesota, they're rolling right now. They have won four straight basketball games, and they've won seven of their last 10, coming off a seven-point win against Indiana, a 10-point win against the same Phoenix team, a two-point win in Seattle, an 11-point win against Seattle. So Memphis, uh, sorry, Minnesota is really starting to get it going. Um, they are um, 4-0 ATS in their last four games. They've just got the better team. They've put it all together. They had a rocky start. As I mentioned, they've won seven of their last 10. So previous to that, they were 1-8. and eight. Sorry, 1-6. and six. Brutal start to the season. They've figured it out. Phoenix is just not a good basketball team, unfortunately. So I'm going to take the Minnesota Lynx here. Just straight up on the money line. You know, I think you, this, it's, it's moved to, I think, three and a half. I don't mind taking three and a half on the spread. Maybe go to 130, 140 on the money line. That's up to you. But I like the Minnesota Lynx to win this basketball game. So there is your breakdown for today. I've got the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins to go over seven for minus 112 at bet 99. I've got the Winnipeg Blue Bombers minus seven and a half for minus 110 at FanDuel. And give you the Minnesota Lynx on the money line for minus 120 at DraftKings. As always, drop a comment if you're fading or following. You can follow me across all the different socials. All in the description below, and your audio is on Apple and on Spotify. Have a great Friday, and let's talk sports.